the pi cells say now it includes three classes the three important classes of pi cells are class placodermy class chondrichthyes class osteichthyes the placoderms are extinct fish in placoderms the entire body is enclosed in a bony armor bony armor the scales and bony plates are fused to form a rigid shell called bony armor they are marine and fresh water some are marine and some of them are fresh water paired fins are absent they have got only unpaired fins or median fins now the placoderms they evolved during silurian period they evolved during silurian period in fact all other fish also evolved during silurian period and they became extinct uh, by mesozoic era they became extinct before the commencement of mesozoic era the placoderms gave rise to chondrichthyes they gave rise to chondrichthyes they gave rise to chondrichthyes the examples for placodermy are dentlyosteus dentlyosteus is the most important example for placodermy you know dentlyosteus this is about the placodermy now class chondrichthyes you now it includes cartilage fish we have done at length the general characters of chondrichthyes also along with the bony fish you now chondrichthyes all of them are marine you now the endo i'll just brush it up once again what you had learned in the previous classes okay the all of them are exclusively marine it includes three groups you know three kinds of fish are placed under this sharks rays and skates on the basis of morphological features you can divide them into three types sharks rays and skates you know all are marine Uh, they have got placoid scales as an exoskeleton you know which are also called dermal denticles caudal fin is heterocircle in them endoskeleton is cartilaginous the intestine has a spiral valve uh, the alimentary canal opens to exterior through through cloaca then uh, uh, they have got uh, uh, which one here now the two chambered heart as you find in other fish but in the bulbous arterioles cartilage fish have conus arterioles five to seven pairs of gills are present and the gills are naked without any operculum and in some of the cartilage fish you now spiracle is present in front of the gills you now spiracle is an aperture that helps in respiration lies in front of the gills you now and cartilage fish air bladder and axillary respiratory organs are absent the gill lamellae are uh, plate like or lamellae form you now okay then um, they have got there are kidney sar mesonephric and the pelvic fins are modified into claspers fertilization is internal okay liver is bilobed in them okay then uh, fertilization is internal in uh, sharks you know now this chondrichthyes class chondrichthyes is divided into two subclasses subclass elasmobranchi and subclass holocephaly the elasmobranchi includes two important orders order pleurotremata and order hypotremata pleurotremata it includes sharks gills are laterally placed gills are laterally placed you now the spiracle lies in front of the gills caudal fin is typical heterocircle okay due to the presence of gills lateral side they are called pleuro pleuro implies lateral trimata openings you now all the gills are laterally placed they are all pleurotrematans the example for pleurotremata i shall do examples later on now character suppose you take hypotremata hypotremata includes rays and skates gills are ventral here yeah, gills are lateral in this group gills are ventral 
स्पाइरकिल इज डॉर्सल कार्डल फिन इज विपलाइक कार्डल फिन इज टेपर्ड और विपलाइक लेट मी डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन क्लॉक क्लोरोट्रमाटा एंड हाइपोट्रमाटा हियर नाउ नाउ आई शुड गिव एग्जांपल्स फॉर क्लोरोट्रमाटा एंड हाइपोट्रमाटा क्लोरोट्रमाटा स्कोलियोडॉन commonly called dogfish scoliodon is commonly called the most common shark is the scoliodon here now from the scales and skin of this a by product called shagreen is extracted from the scales and skin of this fish here now by product called shagreen is extracted is used as an abrasive then you have next one uh, stegostoma टाइगर शार्क और जीब्रा शार्क द नेक्स्ट यू हैव अनदर एग्जांपल कारकेरोडॉन कारकेरोडॉन द नेक्स्ट वन इज राइनोडॉन व्हिच इज द लार्जेस्ट फिश यू नो कॉमनली कॉल्ड वेल शार्क द नेक्स्ट यू हैव Hexanchus. It is a shark with six pairs of gills. Then you have Heptanchus. It is a shark with seven pairs of gills. Chlamydocelacus. It is a shark with operculum. The only shark with operculum. Pristis. Sawfish, zygena, or it is also called sphirna. Zygena or sphirna is commonly called hammer-headed shark. So all these belong to Pleurotremata here now. Scoliodon commonly called dogfish. Stegostoma, tiger shark or zebra shark. Carcharodon, Carcharinus, the one which lives in Ganges, you know. Rhinodon, the largest fish, uh, commonly called whale shark. Hexanchus, Heptanchus are the sharks with six pairs and seven pairs of gills, respectively. Chlamydocelacus is the shark, the only fish with only cartilage fish with operculum. Zygena, Arspirna, commonly called hammer-headed shark. Pristis, sawfish, all of them belong to Pleurotremata. The examples for Hypotremata. as i said it includes rays and scales you know hypotremata number 1 trigon commonly called stingray where the caudal fin is modified into long whip like tapered structure with a poisonous sting you know the next you have torpedo another example narsin torpedo and narsin are commonly called electric rays in electric rays you know uh, the pectoral or dorsal muscles are modified into electric organs and said point of view and other exam point which is important you know the muscles present near the pectoral fin that is pectoral or dorsal muscles are modified into electric organs you know then next you have another example eagle ray another example Rhinobatus, guitar fish. Rhinobatus, commonly called guitar fish, is a kind of skate, also called common Indian skate. Common Indian skate. So all these are the examples for hypotremata here now. Trigon, stingray, torpedo, and narsin electric rays. Milobatus, eagle ray, rhinobatus, commonly called guitar fish, are common Indian skate. Now the holocephaly. It includes the best example, camera. 
Camera is commonly called rabbit fish or rat fish. This is the connecting link between conductors and osteictus. You know, connecting link between between osteictus and conductors. Connecting link between camera that belongs to holocephaly. It comes under the class chondrichthys. As I made a mention, chondrichthys is divided into two subclasses, elasmobranchi and holocephaly. So, the best example for holocephaly is camera, commonly called rabbit fish or rat fish. It is a connecting link between osteichthys and chondrichthys. That is, besides uh, the cartilage fish characters, it exhibits even bony fish characters also, like presence of operculum so on and so forth. The characteristic features of osteichthys also you have learned at length here now. I shall brush up once again the most important characters. Uh, this uh, osteichthys you know there is bony fish or marine or fresh water or brackish water. Caudal fin is difficircle or homocircle and primitive bony fish even heterocircle caudal fin is also present. Scales are cycloid, tenoid, ganoid, cosmoid here now. The number of gills is four pairs and gills are covered by operculum. And in advanced osteichthys, that is teleosti, spiracle is completely absent, it is present only in the lower ones. Spiral valve is absent in the teleosti, present in the primitive bony fish here now. Endoskeleton is bony in them. Heart has bulbous arteriosus instead of conus arteriosus. They are all ammonotelic here now, instead of eliminating urea. Now, to overcome exosmosis, they synthesize TMO, okay, to, you know, to increase the concentration of blood and to maintain. Uh, with that of the surrounding medium here now. They are all oviparous here now, fertilization is external in them. Ampulla of Lorenzini is absent here now, but however, they got a sense organ called later line system or neuromast system here now. And in the respiratory system, besides gills, they have got air bladder that acts as hydrostatic organ and axillary respiratory organs are present in some of the bony fish which enable them to gulp in atmospheric air whenever there is a desiccation of the legs. Now, the class osteichthys is divided into three subclasses. Subclass Acanthodi, subclass Sarcopterigi, subclass Actinopterigi. So, they are the Three subclasses placed under osteichthys. Now, acanthodi, once again, they are extinct here now. They became extinct by Permian. They became extinct by Permian. A spiracle. Spiracle and spiral valve both are present here now. They became extinct by Permian. Now, they gave rise to bony fish. They gave rise to all the other bony fish. They gave rise to all the other bony fish. The example for this Climatius, and Diplocanthus. Climatius and Diplocanthus are the examples for Acanthodi. Now, this subclass Sarcopterigi, they are commonly called lobe finned fish, you know. They are commonly called lobe finned fish. Most of them have difficircle type of caudal fin. Difficircle type of caudal fin is present and they have either cosmoid or cycloid scales. Cosmoid or cycloid type of scales are present. Internal nostrils are noticed for the first time in this. Internal nostrils are noticed for the first time. That is why the sarcopterigians are also called quionicthians. They are also called quionicthian fish due to presence of internal nostril here now. Then the sarcopterigi is divided into two orders. Order crossopterigi. And order dipnoi. 
Crossopterygii and Dipnoi. Order Crossopterygii is divided into two suborders. Suborder Rifidistia and Suborder Silocanthini. Sarcopterygii subclass is divided into two orders. Order Crossopterygii and Dipnoi. Order cross up is divided into two suborders, Rifidistia and Silocanthini. Here now, now Rifidistia is represented by Eosthenopteron, The best example for this is Rifidistia is Eosthenopteron, which acts as a missing link between uh, fish and amphibia. The Rifidistian fish gave rise to amphibia towards end of Devonian period. They gave rise to amphibia towards end of Devonian period here now. Okay, the example for Rifidistia, the best example is Eosthenopteron, which is also considered as a missing link between fish and amphibia. Then the Silocanthini, Silocanthini, where the fin rays are hollow, that's why it is called Silocanthini here now. The Silocanthini members were abundantly present during Mesozoic period. Then after Mesozoic, they were not noticed. Most of the scientists were also under the impression that they had become extinct. But in the year 1938, December 22nd, a fish was caught along the east coast of South Africa. Fish was caught along the east coast of South Africa. They named it Latimeria Cholumne. Latimeria Cholumne. It was identified by the zoo curator Miss Courtney Latimer and Professor J. L. B. Smith. Smith named this after Latimer as um, Latimeria Cholumne. This Latimeria Cholumne is considered as living fossil of fish. Living fossil of fish. Then later on in 1939, they found another fish called Melania anjouni. 1939 December 30th another fish was identified it was caught okay they named it Melania anjouni then recently 1997 also a fish called Latimeria menadoensis was caught in year 1997 recently here now so this fish is considered as living fossil of uh, fish here now. It has got a trilobed diffusectal caudal fin. It has got uh, cycloid scales. The air bladder is deposited with fat here now. Then it has, um, okay, all the fins are pedunculated except first dorsal. In this particular fish, all the fins are pedunculated except first dorsal. It is about uh, uh, 1.5 meters long. Okay, it is about steel blue in color with cycloid scales all over the body here now. Okay, that is the significance of Silocanthini here now. The order Dipnoi, the most important group of fish here now, it includes lung fish, where air bladder is modified into lung here now. Dipnoians exhibit discontinuous distribution. They exhibit discontinuous distribution that is not found all over the world, confined to only three parts of the world, America, Africa and Australia. They have got diffusercal caudal fin. Diffusercal caudal fin is present. Scales are cycloid. Scales are cycloid. Internal nostrils are present. Internal nostrils are present. That's why they are also called quinectians here now. Intestine has a spiral valve. Spiral valve is present in the intestine. Heart has got partially divided auricle. Partially divided auricle and a single ventricle. Partially divided auricle and a single ventricle here now. Then uh, they have got both lungs and gills. Both lungs and gills are present for respiration. Now the dipnoi, Roma, scientist Roma, 
called diphnoids uncles of amphibia called diphnoids uncles of amphibia because of certain amphibian characters reflected in this group here now he called uh, the diphnoids uncles of amphibia they are all freshwater fish freshwater inhabitants you know now the important examples for diphnoi now diphnoi you know the important examples for diphnoi number 1 protapterus protapterus is commonly called african lungfish it lives in nile senegal and tanganyika rivers of south africa nile senegal and tanganyika rivers of south africa protapterus undergoes east vision it has got thread like pectoral and pelvic fins thread like pectoral and pelvic fins and caudal fin is diffusercal scales are cycloid then it has got two lungs two lungs are present that is protapterus you know then second example you have neoceratodus neoceratodus you know it is commonly called australian lungfish a uh, burnet salmon burnet salmon because it lives in salmon and mary rivers mary rivers of queensland australia that's why called burnet salmon or australian lungfish you now it even this fish has two lungs the next you have another example lepidosiren lepidosiren is commonly called american lungfish it lives in river amazon it has got a single lung it has got a single lung so the entire diphnoi is represented by only three genera the most important point m set point of view or other exams computer exams you know where you may get even the common names also sometimes or sometimes they may ask the unique characters of these three fish you know so one is protapterus commonly called african lungfish you know the neoceratodus australian lungfish or burnet salmon then the other one is lepidosiren lives in amazon river of south america commonly called american lungfish these two fish have two lungs each whereas in lepidosiren you know only one lung is present here now